Hello, welcome back to Server Assist. So today I'm going to be highlighting the top five midfielders in Europe on Server Fantasy Football. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link below where you get a free limited card and get to draft your teams ready for the new season, including your Premier League team. You can also join my Patreon as well. You can get a 70 day trial on that where you'll get access to the full shortlist of all the top players on Surrey Fantasy Football. And you'll also get some game week selections as well every single game week. Okay then guys, without further ado, let's get stuck into the top 5 midfielders today then. None of this content of course is financial advice and always do your own research, especially with the number of players at the moment that are going to the Saudi Arabian League, which isn't currently covered on Surrey. Okay, let's get started then with the first player. First player is Joshua Gimmich of Bayern Munich. He's only 28, he's got a contract with Bayern Munich till 2025. He's an absolutely fantastic player on Surrey Fantasy Football, this guy. Ever consistent as well in the last few years on Surrey. L42 of 69 and L15 of 72. The limit at the moment is going for around 259. And his rare price is going for around 2,973. In terms of fixtures for Bayern Munich to start off the season, they're away to Werder Bremen, then they're home to Augsburg, away to Mönchengladbach and at home to Bayer Leverkusen. So some pretty good fixtures there to start off the season for Bayern Munich. And I do expect Gimmich to get some good scores there. If we look at his scores from last season then, we can see a graph of green here. Including four 100 scores as well. Some 90s, 80s, plenty of 60s and 70s scores as well to boot. He's got a fantastic AA score of 30.6. And his average SO5 score across 32 starts was 71.2. Absolutely fantastic player, this guy. Getting consistently good scores in the 70s, 80s. Really, really good choice for your fantasy teams. Last season for Bayern Munich in the German Bundesliga, he started 32 games. He had five goals. He also had six assists as well. Created 11 big chances, 2.7 key passes per game, and an average of 67 accurate passes per game as well, with 90% accuracy. These are going to help rack up his scores. He also chips in defensively as well with 1.2 interceptions per game, 2.4 tackles and 1.1 in clearances per game. And he's also winning 56% of his total duels. So Joshua Gimmich is certainly a fantastic choice for your fans football team on Surrey. Another fantastic choice is of course Bruno Fernandes of Manchester United. He's only 28 and he's got a contract with Manchester United till 2026. He's of course the club captain as well. The real club captain. Don't think we can really class Maguire as the captain of Manchester United when he doesn't really play. His limited price is going for around 177 at the moment and his rate is going for around 1,756. He's got an L40 of 70 and L15 of 74. He's of course also an international for Portugal as well. And in terms of fixtures at the start of the Premier League season for Manchester United, they were at home to Wolves in the first game. That looks a pretty tasty fixture. Then away to Tottenham and at home to Nottingham Forest. So that's another good fixture. And then away to Arsenal. But two really favourable home fixtures for Manchester United there early on in the season. Scores-wise then, we can see a really good graph of green here with some free 100 scores, some 80 scores, 70s and 60s as well. Some fantastic numbers here for Bruno Fernandes. He's got an AA score of 19.0, which is really impressive. And an average of 63.6 in his last 37 starts. I don't expect Manchester United to have a little bit of a better season next season as well in terms of consistency. Especially if they can get some new signings in the door. They've of course got Ten Hag in the, at the helm now. This will be his second season. And he's had, done a fantastic job in his first season at Manchester United. Last season for United then, Bruno Fernandes started 37 games, 8 goals, averaging 2.5 shots per game. He's got 8 assists as well. He's also created 32 big chances last season for Manchester United. Now if they can get Harry Kane on the books, those chances are probably going to be converted and Bruno Fernandes is of course going to probably assist in a lot of those goals as well. 3.3 key passes per game as well. And an accurate pass ratio of 78 passes 
in terms of his percentage and an average of 39 accurate passes per game. He's also having 1.8 tackles per game as well and one clearances per game. So a fantastic choice, Bruno Fernandes. Very attacking player. He's going to be getting amongst the goals and assists again next season for both Portugal and Manchester United. So another Premier League player, and that is Kevin De Bruyne of Manchester City. He's 32 now, still got a few years left yet though, I'm sure. And he's got a contract with Manchester City till 2025. So an L40 of 62 and L15 of 65. He's limited at the moment, it's going for around £110. And his rare is going for around £1,042. In terms of fixtures for Manchester City at the start of the Premier League next season, they're away to Burnley. That looks like a pretty good fixture. A home to Newcastle, away to Sheffield United, and then at home to Fulham. So three favourable fixtures here, I would say. And even the Newcastle game is probably one that we would be able to win as well. So looking a really good solid start for the Man City players next season in the Premier League. And if we look at the scores of Kevin De Bruyne last season, absolutely fantastic scores here. Including two 100 scores, he's also got some scores in the 90s as well, and a lot in the 80 range as well. So this to me is looking absolutely solid. AA game, he's got an average of 17.9, and his average in total of his 28 starts last season, 71.6 on average, which is absolutely phenomenal. Scores wise we can see as well he's got some really consistent scores Getting plenty of assists and goals So I think he's going to have another good season with Manchester City Last season in the Premier League he started 28 games 7 goals, 2 shots per game on average He also had 16 assists as well I'm guessing most of those were for Ellen Haaland he also created 31 big chances last season, 3.1 key passes per game, an average of 34.3 accurate passes per game as well. So a fantastic choice there in your fantasy football teams on Sir Air. Next up, I've gone for a little bit of an outsider pick, and that is Todd Cantwell of now Rangers. He did sign for Rangers last season, got a long contract with them as well. He's only 25, and he's started life brilliantly at Rangers, which we'll come on to in a moment. So he's L40 of 53, but that does include his time at Norwich. And he's also got an L15 of 70 and an L5 of 75, which shows the true picture in terms of his form at Rangers. He's not really getting in amongst the England team at the moment, but for Rangers, I think he's going to be solid in the Scottish Premiership next season. Of course, Rangers are a dominant side in that division. His limited is going for around 55 at the moment, and his rare is going for around 476. In terms of fixtures at the start of the season, next season from Rangers, they're away to Kilmarnock in the first game, then at home to Livingston, where it looks tasty, away to Ross County, and then at home to Celtic in the fourth game. First three games look pretty good, though, to me, for Todd Cantwell. Scores wise then, so these are all the scores in the Premiership last season when he did sign for Rangers and we can see consistently high good quality scores here in his 70s, 80s and also a 100 score as well in his first 15 games for the Scottish outfit. Now he's had time to settle into the club, he's coming into his first full season expecting to be continuing this trend of good scores. He's got an AA of 21.2 an average of 70 in those 15 games. So it's looking really solid here. Now he is playing in the Scottish Premiership. Last season in the Premiership then for Rangers, he started 15 games. He scored six goals and had four assists. He's averaging 2.1 shots per game as well. Created five big chances in those 15 starts and averaging 1.3 key passes per game. He's also averaging 51 accurate passes per game as well. So to me, it's looking a really solid option next season in midfield for your SO5 fantasy football teams on Sir Rare. So the final midfielder I've gone for in my top five midfielders on Sir Rare fantasy football, I've actually gone for Otavio of Porto. He's only 28 and he's got a contract with Porto till 2025. So an L40 of 65 and an L15 of 61. He does get some game time as well for Portugal, but I wouldn't really say it's a definite starter for them at the moment. His limited card is going for around £57 and his rare is going for around £335. In terms of fixtures for Porto, in terms of the start of the Primera Liga season next season in Portugal, they were away to Morenzi, they were home to Ferenzi, away to Rio Ave, and then home to Arauca. So, some pretty good fixtures there for Porto to start the league 
And they're a pretty dominant team in that division as well, of course. Scores wise then, last season. So these are the scores that he's got. And as you can see, he's actually got four 100 scores in 25 starts. He's also got some 90s as well, 80s and some 70 scores. So really consistent player, this guy. If I was being harsh, the other downside is that he does get booked quite a lot. But apart from that, he's a fantastic player on Surrey Fans Football with an AA of 24.1, an average of 68.8 .8 in terms of his SL5 scores in those 25 starts. So yeah, really consistent player, this guy, capable of getting the peak scores, which is what we need to get amongst the big prizes. Last season for Porto then, he started 25 games, 11 team of the weeks on service score as well actually. 5 goals and 7 assists, averaging 1.4 shots per game. He also created 13 big chances, 2.1 key passes per game and accurate passes per game of 44.5. Seeing a lot of the ball this guy, getting a lot of chances, creating a lot of chances as well. A fantastic choice for your SO5 teams. So that was my top five midfielders in Europe for the upcoming season on Surrey Fans Football. You can, of course, get my full shortlist of all the players in every region or by joining my Patreon. You can get a seven-day trial for that as well. You'll also get the game week player picks as well every single game week. So make sure you check that out. Link is in the description. If you, like video, if you like this video though, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link below. You'll get a free limited card. You'll also get to draft your teams as well. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and I'll catch you again on the next video.